I'm going to be showing you how to get the best FPS boost from Roblox if you have a low-end system. Of course, this works for high-end system, mid-tier systems, but for the most part, if you have a low-end system, you have a garbage PC, this is going to help you a ton. Trust me, the best tips are at the end, and if you stick around, you will get better FPS, lower input delay, and potentially even fixed lag, and that means getting better ping as well. So as promised, first of all, I'm going to start with some basic, basic window settings. You want to just go into your settings. Go over to the app startup and turn off anything here that you absolutely do not need. You probably have a ton of stuff that starts with your PC. It runs in the background. It uses up CPU. If you have it open, it's using up GPU and it's lowering your performance. Turn as much of this off as possible. Going down to gaming, probably one of the most important things you can do. Game bar, turn that off. This is killing your FPS. It's always running in the background. Again, it's just another process you don't need. Game mode, turn this on. And if you go to graphics, optimizations for windowed games, you want to turn this one on. And if you go into advanced graphics settings here as well, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling also known as hags this also needs to be on now if we go into our windows search again and type in edit power plan going to choose power plan show additional options i recommend using high performance if you do not have the ultimate performance option now to get this is very simple i just go to this website called howtogeek.com they have a whole page on how to enable this but it's literally just this line of code right here i know it looks sketchy but you open up your power plan run it as an administrator you paste the code press enter and just like that if we now close you have to close this down and reload it but if you go back power plan here we now have the ultimate performance option and they are pretty much your Windows basics, but if you want to dial your Windows settings completely, I created the ultimate Windows optimization tool. It's a completely personalized optimization pack that does what videos cannot do. And not only do we have a Windows option, but we also have an NVIDIA optimization pack as well. Of course, the way you set up your GPU is very important. A lot of people go in their control panel, they'll drag this down to performance and call it a day. But actually configuring your 3D settings is what squeezes you the most performance. Now, I'm not saying you can't optimize your PC without it. Of course, you can. But you know, Flux that already cuts out the fluff from those, you know, one size fits all YouTube videos even like this the truth is from videos alone not everyone's going to have the same experience but regardless i do think i'm pretty good at it so now looking at bootstrappers i use blockstrap and i use version 2.9.1 and the reason for that is because the new blockstrap removed the fast like editor of course you can use fish strap but this is the one i recommend going in here going to configure settings if you're not using a bootstrapper i suggest you get on one this is going to give you again the best opportunity for the best performance if you know what to do in here all right listen up guys you know how much i've spent on my roblox account and i know how much you hate dealing with of overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me. Every transaction on here is secure, so there's zero stress about being scammed. Plus, they have something called Eldorado Trade Shield Protection, which means they've got your back every step of the way. I know we all want the best currency rates, and with Eldorado, I get my game currency fast. Like, in just a few minutes fast. They seriously have some of the lowest prices of seen and i'm saving a ton compared to other places and when it comes to in-game cosmetics same deal they've got everything you need to deck out your locker and i'm not the only one talking about this check out these trust pilot reviews thousands of gamers just like me are giving Eldorado top marks it's legit their support team online 24 7 if you ever need help it could be 3 a.m they're ready to answer any questions and they have got a money back guarantee so it's pretty much risk-free either you get your order or you get your money back simple as that so if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics check out aldorado.gg with a link in the description and you can use code fetch at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys now most of this is actually just complete quality of life or you know maybe even placebo subjective you're not going to yield many performance benefits from most of these things in fact it's just enabling more stuff that you probably don't want running but in your edging settings this is where it gets spicy now as promised i'm going to give you the best fast lags but first of all we're going for our rendering graphic settings individually anti-aliasing i'd have this on one for low end pc users turn all of these on right here so disable player shadows disable post processing effects and disable train textures frame rate limit this actually doesn't work anymore even if you set it to zero which is meant to give you unlimited but if you want to unlock your fps i have an entire video on my channel somewhere literally i think i uploaded like a week ago so you can just go and check that out preserve rendering quality of display scaling have this turned on for the most part unless you're literally on a laptop office computer maybe you want to experiment turning this one off and then rendering mode and texture quality rendering mode you want to have an automatic this is the best bet and the fast lags will kind of cover for this and texture quality has it set to level zero the lowest this is going to give you the best performance but it may look a little garbage 
So maybe you can budge up to level one. Now, fast flags in the fast flags editor, these are objectively the best flags. You literally cannot get more optimized flags than this right now. So you can either copy these values manually. If it helps, I'll open them up right here. Here you can see this is pretty much everything. Oh, and to import them, you literally just press add new right here. You can add the value separately. You can import the JSON file. I'll leave the download for this in my Discord server. Or to give you a third option, and I recommend you do this anyway, if you go to mods and open the mods folder, this is actually where the internal folder is stored. So when you edit your fast flags, it goes right into here. And this is the folder you'll be downloading and importing basically or at least the values of it but yeah those values go into this notepad and on this notepad i suggest right clicking this going to properties and ensuring that read only is ticked now this won't let you edit your fast flags after you've done this so if you want to re-edit them you have to go in and untick this but having it ticked and applying this when you've got you know your fast flags dialed it's going to ensure that roblox does not automatically edit them or try and remove some of your fast flags when they make new updates and that's super important but assuming you've now got the absolute best fast flags going into roblox itself if you go into your settings this works literally doesn't matter what game you're in just roblox as a whole i'll show you the rival settings in a minute you want to make sure your maximum refresh rate is on the highest value again if you've unlocked this you can literally put it at like a thousand plus but 240 will be the most stable scrolling down make sure you're in full screen this will give you the least input delay graphics modes set this from automatic to manual and have it on the absolute lowest this will give you the best performance but if you don't like how it looks you can go up to free, but I wouldn't go anywhere above this personally. And that is literally everything for your actual Roblox settings. But now game specific settings like rivals here, you want to disable the shadows. Literally, it says it reduces lag. So turn this on, disable textures, also affirms here, it reduces lag. So turn it on. If you want to turn it off, it says you'll have to restart your game, but turning it on, you don't need to do that. So just tick that one on wraps, disable those and accessible flashes. This does not change whatsoever. It just means you do not get blinded when they throw. So uh, definitely have this one on. Well, personally. Maybe you hate your vision. And scrolling down with rivals, a lot of people will only talk about these settings and think these are the only things that affect your FPS, but it's actually very wrong. If you scroll down, things like the camera zoom effect, lowering this, as well as turning off field of view effects and camera shake, not only can these give you a bit of a competitive advantage in terms of your game is more consistent, things aren't moving as much, it's easier to aim, but these are essentially visual effects that your GPU has to kind of process. It has to render them. And of course, that taxes your hardware. Now, field of view, it's something that I need to mention. Of course, having this higher will give you a more competitive advantage obviously this is maybe the only caveat here but when you think about it logically the more your game has to see so the more your gpu has to render the lower fps you're going to get it's not a crazy difference but for you people that are on maybe laptops or really really bad systems you will notice more fps having this lower i have on 110 i have quite a high-end pc but just something to keep in mind oh and there's a reason i told you to stick to the end because i completely forgot to mention this it happens on your fast size there's a few things that you may actually want to remove so i mentioned this in my discord server to someone but if your in-game lighting appears a little dark with these flags you want to remove this value right here it's a debug pause voxelizer so looking at the actual fast flags where it says true you can either write false here and, or you know change it to false or you can literally remove the value entirely you can of course also do this in your bootstrappers fast flag editor and the low textures if you think it's just too low textured of course that will give you better fps but you basically want to remove these top two right here so the texture quality override enabled and then also the texture quality override so you enable it and then this is what overrides it this value right here so either set this to zero and change this to false or just get rid of it completely that is the easier option 